Hi, I'm Mitchell Jackson, and today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a Powercraft 200M for DC TIG. While the machine is turned off, you now want to connect all your lines and connections securely. So first we'll start off with the earth clamp. This is the bit that goes into the machine. This is your clamp. With your earth clamp, you want to put that into the positive terminal. like so. Now this end, you want to put that onto your um, metal that you're welding with and make sure it's fully secure. Now we go and connect our TIG torch. You want to put this end into the negative terminal and make sure it's fully done up tight. Next we want to connect our gas line down into this threaded a uh, copper piece here, like so. Make sure it's done up tight with a shifter. Next, we're going to connect our trigger uh, connection. So it goes down into where the plug is here. Make sure you line up the pins properly, like so. Make sure it's done up properly. Now we're going to connect the machine to the gas line. This gas line here is equipped with a quick release connector which simply just pushes on and now it's secure. With the other end of the gas line we want to put our hose clamp on first and then simply push the line on first like that, the connector. Now we want to do it up tightly with some pliers by squeezing these two together. Once that is done You'll, you'll put the regulator into the argon bottle. Make sure you've fully done it up tight with a shifter or a spanner. And now we want to connect our gas line to this end here by simply turn it right to the right and do it up secure with a shifter. Once your gas line is connected from the regulator to the machine, you want to open up your bottle slowly until you see the pressure go up on this side of the regulator. Now for TIG, you want to set it between 10 to 15 litres a minute by turning the knob clockwise. Now that we're in our parameters, we're going to set our polarity, we're going to set that to DC. DC is for ferrous metals such as steel. And Today we'll be welding with stainless steel, about 3mm thickness. Now we're going to have the pulse off. Our trigger mode, we're going to leave that on T2. T2 is trigger on, trigger off. And T4 is trigger on, weld take your finger off, continue welding, to turn the arc off you press the trigger once again. Pre-flow, we're going to have about two seconds of pre-flow that will give us enough purge time with gas coming out of the nozzle to prepare the area before initiating the arc. Pre-current, we have around about 50 amps. Upslope, we're going to have that on about two, two seconds that will give us enough time to get up to our welding current and preheat the plate at that time. Welding current, for stainless steel about 3 mm thick thickness, we want around about 100 amps, but we can also change that on our uh, torch piece as well as, as we're welding. Downslope, on about 2 seconds, that will give us 2 seconds from getting from 100 amps down to 30 amps. Our post current, I have it on about 30 amps. Post flow, we'll have around about 
around about four and a half seconds. It depending on the size of your tungsten is how many seconds you will need on your post flow. Now that you're all set, just press the set button again and now we're ready to weld.